Hey there guys, welcome back to the Caddy Daddy and Bot Parts Garage. Today we're going to be rebuilding this uh, Rochester Quadrajet. Um, used on many, many different uh, makes and models of automobile. Um, in fact, my friend's um, Dodge Diplomat police car has the electronic version of the Quadrajet on it. So, let's get started. As always, we want to see what's, how this comes apart. There's three sections to it. We want to get the linkages off. They go between the sections so we can take it apart without any problems. This one here I will point out so you guys don't have to. It's damaged. Um, I'll have to hunt up a new uh, choke later on for it. So we, I saw that. I did not realize that this one had damage to it, uh, when, it when we pulled it. So I know it. You guys know it. So we don't have to worry about it. I'll get a part later. So somebody's obviously played with that because that linkage is off. This one here normally would you'd have to remove at the top to get it off. Throw them in the bin. These clips are a little bit easier to work with than the ones that are on the carters. And we got another clip. These many many of these carburetors, there's many different applications, many different styles and modifications. They're all similar. This doesn't exactly match your car. It's the same basic idea. There might be minor differences because this was a carburetor that was used uh, for, for, for many, many decades. So we got everything separated. Now we can go after all the screws. You want to be careful taking this apart. You don't want to... Um, I like to always preserve the gaskets so I can compare them. It usually a, works out pretty good if it's a factory carburetor or a properly rebuilt one. Sometimes you get ones that don't have the right gaskets in it. I've been guilty of that mistake. I used the wrong base gasket on the Stromberg in my Dodge. One barrel and it blocked the um, vacuum passage for the enrichment so the thing ran rich all the time. Had good power but got bad mileage. And get the hidden screws. It's been a while since I've done a Rochester, so bear with me. Probably been 10 years. Okay, we'll set the main body aside. We'll carefully turn this over, let all the screws drop out. And these are nice because the screws are all the same. Pull the pin out here for the float. Needle comes with it. This one looks really nice inside. Unlike the Carter, if you watch the Carter video. Maybe we can push that out with this other one so I don't have to get a punch. I'll go ahead and carefully remove the seats. This looks like it may have been rebuilt and only used a very uh, small amount. This is, it's dirty on the outside. You can tell it's been in a car, but I don't think this has run very much. Remove our clip. 
little horseshoe clip on the accelerator pump. And that's real nice and clean. But the outside is it's got a little dirt on it, like it has been used. Back onto the main body here. Very nice and clean inside. Carefully break those loose. Yeah, wow, everything is so clean in this one compared to the other one. Be sure you watch the, if you haven't watched the Carter video, watch that one. You'll see one that's a real mess. I say save all the gaskets. You can have them for reference. Now, because this one's so clean and I don't want to risk damaging the, uh, the jets, I'm going to leave them in. Uh, if you need to take them out for some reason, then do so if the thing's real dirty. But I'm going to leave these alone. thing looks pretty nice. Make sure, make sure that's in tight and the spring's retained. You don't want to have lose the, uh, the spring and the ball. Now we'll take the choke assembly off. Inside of there is pretty nasty. A couple of screws here hold it onto the housing, onto the body. Those are all the screws associated with the choke. Actually, the first one of these quadra jets I ever did came to me in a shoebox. Guy had taken it apart and couldn't figure out how to put it back together. So I had to ver verify all the parts were there and put it together. Once again, I got some standoffs. So it makes it a little bit easier to work on. And the linkages don't uh, drag on the bench. That big one in the middle can be difficult. I've pre-loosened it, so I cheated. Had to use the uh, impact on it. There's the main body. Uh, passageways here that we make sure are blown out with air. Uh, I throw all these in the all the parts into the ultrasonic machine to clean. Uh, you can use the old-fashioned carburetor dip if you have to. I mean, you got lots of options. Here's the um, auxiliary uh, throttle plates, and it looks like we got a problem in there. I'll have to investigate. Gasket. Just removing all the adjustments out of it. Give everything a little final check. Okay, this is all going to go into the ultrasonic to get cleaned up. We'll see you soon. At Caddy Daddy Presents, it's all about giving back. Please enjoy the video of the Boys and Girls Clubs of St. Helena and Calistoga. Mm -hmm.